Hi, welcome back. This is part two of using photo galleries with WordPress. In part one, I forgot to tell you the one thing you need to change on one of your uh, new photo gallery plugins. So log into Word, uh, WordPress, scroll on down to what should be there now, which is called the gallery, and go down to options, and click on effects, and click on none, and then save changes. Now you're set to use WP Pretty Photo to render your photos. Okay, now that that's done, what we can do is go to Gallery, and then you want to add a gallery. And for purposes of this example, we're just going to call it Gallery 1. I know, creative. Add Gallery. And then we want to upload images, so we click on Browse. And I've got to go find some images, so let's just, uh, what do we got? Graphics. Let's just add all these in, all right, just for illustration purposes. Now you have to choose a gallery. The only gallery we have is Gallery 1, so choose that and then upload images. And what's going to happen now is um, NextGen Photo Gallery will actually upload the images for you and create thumbnails on the fly. So here it's creating, creating thumbnails, which are the, like the little preview photos. And it should be done. Right here it says five pictures successfully added. What we can do is go look at what's there. So go to Manage Gallery. Click on Gallery 1, and you'll see that there are some photos here. Now there's a lot you can do here for SEO purposes, and it's very important that you do so if you want this stuff to be found on the internet. If you don't care, and if it's just like a photo gallery of you know past work, and you know it's it's to show uh, potential clients and whatnot, that's fine. But I would recommend that you put a little bit of time here. Um, thinking about keywords and how and how people might actually come to find your site through search engines through these images. So in description you could add something very descriptive like uh, what are the photos about? Maybe it's custom cars or maybe it's a 1966 Impala chop top blah blah blah. You could put all that stuff in here um, in the description. I would also suggest that you put something descriptive in the title other than Gallery 1. And then when you go down to your um, photos themselves, note that this says alt and title text. So this right here is your alt text, which is very important for search engine optimization. You want to put something very descriptive in here. Think keywords. What is this photo about? It doesn't have to be a long description, but it does have to be uh, descriptive of what the photo is showing. And then this is your title text, which is going to be kind of like um, what your photo is called when a search engine uh, web bot looks at it. You can also put tags here, which I also recommend that you put in um, so that you're giving search engines a clue as to what this photo is about. Because remember, search engines, they can't see the photos. They can only see the metadata around them, and that's what you tell it um, it's going to be. You know, file name, title, alt tag, and then WordPress tags. So once you're done with that, you're pretty much done with your photo gallery. Um, everything's uploaded. Now all you have to do is put that gallery in a post or on a page. So we're going to add a new page or a new post, I'm sorry, a new post. So let's type in a title and some text. And you want to put in this tag right here. So it's ng gallery space id equals number one in brackets. And I'll show you how you find out what this number one is in a minute. So update. And then view the post. And these are your pictures. Now, if you click on them, you get this neat little effect, right? Which is really cool. 
So you can go forward. If you're the first one, you're only going to get a forward arrow. If you're the, actually, I guess you can go back too. It goes it cycles through all of them, which is kind of neat. You can play it as a slideshow, which I think the default uh, interval between the the slides or the photos is 10 seconds. Uh, let's stop that. So you can cycle through this way. You can also go down to the preview here and pick pick a photo. You can also tweet this gallery or like this gallery on Facebook, which is pretty cool. To close, you just click on the X. This tells you that the name of the photo, which obviously I didn't rename any of these photos. I just used them as is, but you would want to put your keywords there. And that's it. So let's go back and show you where where you get this number because let's say you have five galleries and you want to put in gallery number five well you would put ID number five right here you would put five right there but let me show you how you know that because sometimes you add a gallery and then you delete a gallery and the ID numbers are no longer in sequence so let's just add another gallery We'll call this Gallery 8, just to confuse you. Kidding. Um, so we add a gallery. We're going to go to Browse to find some images. Now let me hit Cancel first and show you the tag right here. This is the tag you will be using for Gallery number 8. All right, the gallery we just created is uh, denoted by this tag that you put in your page or your post. So it's sequential. The next gallery we add will be number three. Now if we delete gallery three, that's denoted by this number here, um, the next one in sequence will be gallery four or number four. So we'll have ID one, two, and four. We won't have a three. It doesn't replace the three. Um, that three is forever in a database table somewhere until you delete it, which we won't go into and there's really no need. You just have to be mindful of the fact that the ID of the gallery is shown here. It's also shown, I'll show you in a minute, um, where it is. So let's just uh, add some more stuff here. Actually, let me just do two, just so it doesn't take so long to upload and stuff. So we're going to put this in gallery, what I called gallery eight, which could be called, you know, monkeys, but it's got an ID number of two. So we're uploading the images, then we're going to create the thumbnails. And then, so two pictures were successfully added. Let's go back down, manage the gallery. Now you see here we have two galleries. One is called Gallery 1, one is called Gallery 8. Well, the ID numbers are 1 and 2. So if I wanted to put this gallery right here in a post, I would say ID equals 2 and watch. I can just change this, update the page, go to reload the page, and there should be f two photos in this gallery. These two guys right here. Okay, I apparently uploaded icons, and then the thumbnails actually made them bigger, but you get the point, right? Um, yeah, so that wasn't a very good example but you you get the point um, that's about it there's there's one other thing that we'll talk about in a subsequent video and it has to do with albums actually you know what let's talk about it now it'll only take a minute the guy who set up this uh, next gen photo gallery kinda did things backwards it's a great it's great technology it's great code it works and everything but his nomenclature or his terminology uh, used that he uses is kind of backwards. So 
one would think a gallery is a bunch of photo albums put together, but it's actually the opposite the way he implemented this uh, plugin. He says a bunch of galleries together make an album. So if you want to put two galleries on one page, you can either put that ng gallery ID equal one tag on the page and then ng gallery ID equal two tag on the page, or you can just add an album like this and then here you're gonna select the album you're gonna drag the two galleries into the album and then you're gonna update and that's what what the album is is, is it's these two so just to show you how that looks you would type in album ID equals one and you'll now see a gallery of the photos that we put in for number two and you'll see a gall uh, two galleries which are in album one um, it'll show both galleries so watch watch when we update so here's what's denoted by ng gallery ID equals two here is what is denoted when we type in album ID equal one. So it's just a short cut way of adding a bunch of galleries with one tag, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's it guys. Thanks a lot.